FAA Mobile 7, hold short runway 328. FAA Mobile 7, hold short 328. Fuel, proper tank. That's a panel. Primer is in and locked. Throttle going up. Vacuum 5, okay. ammeter is charging. Fuel pressure, we should have had that on. Uh-huh. Every moment I'm going to on like 3 on Charlie. Oil Fuel pressure is, is Charlie. good. Yeah. Temp is on the rise. Yeah. Throttle back to idle. Should have had to make sure at full rich too, that needs to go on there, I think. Probably had to switch the tanks too. Fuel pump on, switch. Yeah. Okay, mobile 7 is clear in the grass, thank you. Start the timer. Okay. For takeoff, we got the fuel pump on and engine gauges were checked. All still all good. You have a Sterling checklist, right? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, those. Are, that's a pretty good checklist. I'll just check what they have base, and then make sure. Base it off that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Set. Flaps are set. Transponder is at altitude. Is it only flash if you're on a specific squawk? Yeah, I think so. Or no, it's, it's actually like if they have radar, that's what it is, right? If it's what? If they're hitting you with radar. Yeah. Okay, landing light on. Have on. Instruments. Good. That is set. That is it, between 3, 1, and then a little bit. We're off there. Uh. Now 3, 3, what are you doing here? 3, 4. All right? Say again? 3, 4, 3, 4. Yep. No flags. Concord ground, uh, Cessna 398 Echo Sierra. At Echo, runway 32 left, ready to taxi back to PSA. Cessna 398 Echo Sierra, Concord ground, it's PSA via Juliet Alpha Foxtrot, cross runways 1 on our right and 1 on our left. Hmm. Cessna 1 on our right, 1 on our left, uh, Juliet Alpha Foxtrot. Got doors and windows. Cessna 398 Echo Sierra. Shut it right this time. Okay, and time will go. Just hang here until he's a gun? Ah, fuck him. Tell him uh, we're ready to take off on tower frequency. Not our problem. <laughs> Did this go up before, Rich? Yep. Because the last check you do is lights, camera, action, right? right? You remember what that one is? What yep. are we looking for? Uh, well, lights. Cessna 4 3 on the middle, runway 3 through right, line point. Can't get to the right Wrong position. Way, it's like right. a little bit gangster Lion later, a little bit too nerdy. <laughs> Uh, we're going to just tell them to Napa or what? Ah, uh, you just tell them straight out the park. Sure. Okay. Conquer Tower, Cherokee 2863 Mike at 32 right for a straight out departure. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Conquer Tower, hold short of runway 32 right. You'll be number two in sequence. Holding short, number two, 63 Mike. That's no fortune, really. no, that's Romeo Lima, up. make a right close traffic runway 32 right. Runway three so three don't hold short here. Three right of all takeoff, runway 32 right, right cross traffic approved. Take yeah, so a lot of people say they're holding short and stay in the run up area. That's Concord Tower says a 4920 so approach. Yeah, so let's go intercept that taxi line. 4920 Concord Tower, 
circle east, make right traffic, runway right, three to right, runway right, three to right, clear to land, yeah, you'll be number I one. Yeah, I said it to you, I didn't think it was funny, I was like, okay. Oh, hey, yeah. circle east, make right traffic, three to right, number one, clear to land, 49020, Papa. Cessna 244, Bravo, traffic to follow is approaching the pond, Cessna, do not turn downwind until you have that traffic in sight. Roger, for you, Bravo, looking for traffic. Cherokee 2863 Mike Conquer Tower. Traffic in the upwind is a Cessna making right close traffic. Traffic inbound over the pond now making right traffic. Cessna at 1,100 feet. Indicated. Runway 32 right clear for takeoff. 32 right clear for takeoff. 63 Mike. I thought, like I, could, uh, I, say, Bravo, uh, I thought he might come back and say traffic inside, but lights, camera, action, finals clear. Uh, right, close, so long finals five, clear, you always want to check that. Yeah. Don't get lazy because we fly at a controlled airport, right? When you go under control, you get rocked for sure. Runway 32 right, clear to land. Runway 32 right, clear to land. Alright, so we got white camera uh, about and nine miles action. out. Full Inbound throttle. landing at 3,500. Cessna 9436, up. Uh, sorry about that. I thought you had requested a right Door downwind. Shot. Parts, not right close. Uh -huh. Change the runway 32 left. Runway 32 left cleared for the option. Make left. Airspeed's 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 left. Echo Papa, about eight miles out, uh, northeast, inbound for landing at uh, 3,400 feet. Uh, 427 Echo Papa, Congress Tower, enter and report entering. Very nice. All right, now we'll just turn our head, make right sure we're still parallel with the runway. Three, two, left. Make a wide right base entry for three to left for traffic in right close traffic, three Cessna. Enter and report two miles right base for three to left, make a wide right base, seven Echo Papa. Yeah, you mentioned saying we're departing towards Napa and shit. Some people like to tell them that. I'm like, why, the, fu why the fuck do they care? What yeah. are they going to say? Have a nice hamburger there or something? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, ooh, via Florida, Sacramento. No one cares. Just always remember, the message should be as short and yeah. concise as possible. God damn it, the fuck uh, door didn't the latch the again. Out of 697 Echo Zulu Conquer Tower, hold short of Yeah, the hook keeps right uh, missing. That's the Hold's issue. Right. Actually, uh, plot is. We'll do a full stop and taxi right back, and then I'll double check no when we get on the ground. Right right yeah, it's not a big deal. Even if it popped all the way open. I could probably actually pop it and pull, but I'd rather just stop messing with it. Yeah, so when the door latches, there's a little hook that comes out and grabs it, so I can actually see, even with it all the way out, missing the thing. Alright, cool, it's time up to uh, 1,500 feet. We'll do the slow flight power off stall on the way there, and then we will do the uh, uh, steep turns on the way back. Alrighty. Jerky 2863, Mike, frequency change approved. Frequency change Frequency change approved, 2863 marketing. Alright, cool. Ooh, little naughty boy, you hear him double click that? Not supposed to. Who did? He did. It, double clicking is like acknowledging, but it's like, you're not supposed oh, to do that, that, right? Is that the tower guy that did yeah, that? Yeah, he did that. You say naughty boy. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Alright. <laughs> Clearing turns, but this is a low wing plane. We're just going to look both directions. We're already at low altitude. We can see above us, so I deem it safe. All right, turn us to a heading of uh, 280 and put us to slow flight when you're ready. Tower, system 734, Foxtrot Romeo is over the stacks at 4,000 feet and down touch and go. We have flight. Cessna 734, Foxtrot Romeo, Conquer Tower, enter and report. Enter two mile right base, runway 32 right. Enter and report two mile. Uh, Right base for three two right four. Hey, what right heading now. again, please? Two eight zero. Conquer Tower, uh, Cessna four two. We're a little high in the temp for air coming down. Say again. We're a little high in the temp for air coming down. Final four three right. Just cool off for one second. Traffic inside four two. Thank you. Looks fine, right? Remember, you were three. Is that oil temp too? 
Or is that I'm not. I'm not sure with that unit. I think that's the engine November temperature. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. These ones are the main ones. Well, he said that, okay, that if that's too hot, that's what caused the engine to fail before. Who said that? My the prior owner. He said that it started. It got too hot and it started chipping the motor. That's why I had to replace the motor. How? What's the temperature supposed to be at? He says do not exceed 350 during cruise. Four nine two zero five left turn at echo cross three two left and contact ground on the other side. Okay, um, left at Echo, correct, three to left now, and over to ground on the other side, 4902, Papa, thank you. I was going to say, it should go down. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does, it just takes a few seconds. For the option. Don't wait, oh, that's cool, yeah, I didn't know that. Cylinder head temperature. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, we are at heading at 1500. Okay, so slow flight. Yes, please. I'll walk you through it. Power to 15. All right. And we're going to pull back. We're in the wide arc, one notch of flaps. I usually just do one to see if it pops or not. And then That's after that, I just put in the other two. Because it cancels out our loss of altitude. Uh -huh. we'll say when we get to the 50s, increase the uh, power now to 19. So it's just like leveling up. You want to be quick with it, okay. and then increase it beyond 19 because we're losing altitude. I don't want to see us at 1500. 1500 or 15? Oh, 1500 here. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good because uh, they specifically tell us don't say generic terms like pull back because you're like on what the yoke or the thought. All right, so structure language needs to be precise. And part number one, Roman. All right, cool. Turn us to a heading of two one zero. Thank you, yeah. Roger. Bravo traffic inbound from the Just north. a little slower. East for your runway 1009 as an indicated Cessna. 50s airspeed. Yep. Just a little bit pull back. Ever so slightly on the air. There you go. You see how, like, how small and slow we do that? Keeping it less than 10 degrees of bank. Left cleared. Trying a little bit of a climb, so now we bring the power back. So we're pretty much looking outside, and we just scan these real quick. Take the left. I always tell everyone that altimeter is fucking uh, big titties, right? You can uh, get a quick glance, but you stare at it, you're fucked. Game over. So, that's how it works. All right, 2 one zero. All right, from here we're going to do the power off stall. Okay. I'm going to do it with you, so we're going to go, don't do it, just, here, I have the controls. You have the controls. Just listen, uh, we're going to go power idle. We're going to maintain our altitude. We're going to pull back as we start to sink. From there, we're going to just keep pulling so we don't lose altitude. We're just going to lose our airspeed. Then when we start to get our drop, we're going to go full throttle, flaps to 20, and uh, right rudder to stop us from swinging, right? Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. We need to include radios on there. I didn't even catch that. We should have had that set up on the ground. But. All right. All right, here we go. So you have the controls, but I'm going to guide you. So power idle. We're going to pull. Keeping us on our heading. This is more than enough because our airspeed's still going down. So extra pull is going to do it. Full throttle now. Right rudder. Nose to the horizon. So our eyes are outside. You have lapse of 20. There you go. Keeping us down because our airspeed's increasing. Our airspeed's coming up. There you go. 10 notches of flaps. Or 10 degrees. Fucking <laughs> take one or the other, right? All right, now airspeed's good, so you can recover, climb out at VY, so flaps all the way down. Turn us to the north. There you go, right turn. How'd you feel about that? Good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, so we just got to uh, work on getting you to just go a little bit faster. Like, you're doing well. Uh, when I guide you, but we want to see you start doing it uh, on your own. Okay. All right. He's crossing over downtown. Boy Bravo traffic, no pack at all. Nothing, no pack at Boy Bravo. Yeah, that boat's so big it has a helicopter landing pad on it. How does it? And Cessna 734 Fox Star Romeo, you're trying to follow. Tree at Napa. Alright, let's do one more power off, so I'll maintain 1500. Number two, clear to land. I believe I have the traffic to site for Fox right now. Or 700 is fine if you can maintain it. Okay. Three, so we'll set up on our heading of north. So 
Don't lose any altitude though, all right? I'll try to stay in seven. Power to 15, flaps to 20, pull back because we're already That's losing altitude. Lima, your time to follow is a there you go. Put the flaps in. Just over approaching downtown Concord. Who oh, no. Runway 32 right. Clear oh. for the option number 3 to follow that. Right. All right, very nice. So get ready to bring that power back up. 19 now, go. And we're going to play with it so we can maintain. Runway 436, runway 32 left. Clear for the option. You are number 2 to follow. We're going to show that we're in control real quick. Very nice. Do a right turn to a heading of uh, south. Very nice, maintaining altitude fine, our airspeed's a little fast, so a slight pitch up would be good. Romeo Tango, if you can depart maybe two miles out, I have one in the traffic pattern on the left. We can do that, two miles out, and then we'll call you a turn. Roger thank you. So just a little bit of a pitch back will get us there, reduce the power. There you go, alright, let's do the power off saw now, so power idle. Try and keep us on that heading of south, so left ailerons. Pull, 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 pull. We don't want to go below 1700. Pull a little bit more. Want that airspeed to keep going. Just a little bit more. Pull, pull, pull. Now full throttle. Flaps to 20. Nose the horizon. And right rudder. There you go. Nose down just a little bit. Flaps down one more. Very nice. You climb at VY and take the last notch of flaps out. Very good. All right, I have the controls. You have set control. up the Napa frequencies for us. Okay. Concord Tower, just in a two for four. Bravo, request to first stop. So we got ground 121.7, ATIS 124.05, tower 118.7. Oh yeah, you know, we actually will need the ground because we're going to do a full stop yeah. on the first one. So All right. Check the weather. Yep, get the ATIS, write it down. BOR, runway 6, circle 2, and visual, runway 18 right, approaches in use. Notice the airman, Skags Island, tack in, out of service. Land and hold short operations in effect. Advise on our initial contact you have, X-ray. Up tower information, X-ray, 1654 Zulu. Wind, 200 at 6. Visibility, 10. Sky, clear. Temperature, 22, dew point, 13. Altimeter, 29er, 9er 1. BOR, runway 6, circle 2. And visual, runway 18 right approaches in use. Notice the airman, Skaggs Island, tack in, out of service. Land and hold short operations in effect. Advise on our initial contact you have, X-ray. X-ray. All right, now we just need to figure out how to tell them where we are, <laughs> and we'll be good to go. So where are we? I would say we are, let's see. I want to find the state park which I think is beneath us, right there. Yep, that's the state park. And so we're over Benicia. I would just say over Benicia. All right, very good. <laughs> so I give them a call. And since we don't know our distance, we don't have any measuring equipment, we'll just say over Benicia inbound. We are eight miles to the uh, east inbound for touch and go. Liar? No, he's not. It's not we, it's one person. That's my other student. Went over to Rio Vista and oh. <laughs> Napa. He's in the habit. Or maybe he's not one. Maybe he decided to take out a map. 
I'll work his ass if he did. Two trees you're at for. So now it's Elmer over Vallejo. Napa Tower, Cherokee 2863 Mike over Vallejo with X ray. Cherokee 2866 Mike, Napa Tower, make left traffic runway 18 left, report downward. Left traffic 18 left and report left downward. 63 Mike. So we're going to land, do a full stop, taxi back. So out of the controls, grab your iPad because you're going to want to have. Uh, actually, never mind. Well, uh, yeah, grab your iPad real quick. Because I want you to have the uh, taxiways up. I thought there was, oh, here we go. There you go. So pretty simple. So we'll either land on one of those. So it'll be like Echo, if we're good. Uh, Alpha. So we're going to land on one eight left. He's yep. at this one. Taxi back. So Echo or Delta to Charlie. Well, it's just good to have it out because we're going to write yeah. it down and then you'll be able to reference that. So. Damn, fucking fat hand can't get to the trim. <laughs> yeah, there's not much of a gap there. Alright, you got the controls. I have the controls and I believe that's the field, correct? Very good. Alright, so we're entering on the downwind, so what should we be doing? We're a little hot. Down eight, contact ground point seven. Uh, yeah. Uh, entering on the downwind pad. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. descend too early because there are hills over here. No, I just meant the uh, temperature. Okay. Um, I don't think three degrees is going to kill you. What was, uh, so we need to go one. Eight, so we're going to go the downwind, and we should be about like this. Yeah, so uh, they didn't say enter on the 45. It's kind of assumed, and they say enter on the downwind. You can enter kind of straight on, although I would never recommend that because it doesn't give you optimal viewing. Uh -huh. uh, if you enter on the 45, then you have a better view of everything around you. Okay. Um, that's generally what they expect. If they tell you to enter on the 45, you have to enter on the 45. Um Couple people in uh, Concord Tower will actually pitch at you. Red track 627, so. inbound visual through 4200. Red track 627, up a tower, good morning, runway 18 right, clear to land, uh, inner right downwind. 18 right, clear to land, right downwind. Red I wonder stripe. if that's the uh, jet sweep phenom, red stripe. Where? where? Oh, uh, it, it was calling. That was what a call sign was? So I think the big jets are, they say, uh, big stripe. Uh, Shooting hold, uh, hold short 1A right. Prepare to take off. Fade out, departure. Jet bound to Naptar Strat departure, approved runway 18 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, jet bound 2. November 2 0 Delta I 10. I 10 2 0 Delta. I'm going to fly over the field and uh, uh, loop around. Fuck November yeah. two zero Delta Roger, maintain out above three thousand until you're in the right downwind. Maintaining three thousand until downwind two zero Delta. Right track six twenty seven traffic one o'clock two miles west down. I ain't teaching that. Fly over the fucking field. Over flying the field. Roger, right track six twenty seven native contact. So there's the big guy on the right. See him? No, I meant the uh, runway. No. I don't see the little guy. Uh, let's do our descent checklist. Red Stripe 627, start your descent to enter the downwind. In the descent, Red Stripe 627. ATIS we got, altimeter is set. I think it was like down one degree there, to 991, or up one degree, we already did it, okay. Um, radios are on tower ground, and we have approach. So we got mixture at full rich, throttle, fine, air speed's good. Fuel, switch tanks. Yes, yeah, sir. you got it. Okay. We got seven more minutes, but we can just do it now if you want. Fuel pressure still good. So once you do it, then you go fuel pump off, check. Fuel pressure's good, fuel on. Fuel pump on. 
Okay. Uh, instruments. Got airspeed. That looks good. That looks good. No flags. Pressurized 627 traffic, 1500 feet above, you know, factor, runway 18 right, clear to land. We're good. 18 right, clear to land, red stripe 627. Alright, so we don't have any distance measuring equipment, so when do we... Do I need to call in on the downward path? What's the feet on? Yeah. Sea traffic inside 207. Oh shit, we're already in the past. That's all that traffic, runway 18 right, clear, touch and go. On the bill, make right, close traffic. Alright, gonna follow that traffic for touch and go on 18 right, 207. 2860 Mike, 18 left on the downward. I'm going to take this mic runway 18 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 18 left. 62 mic. My bad, I was like looking over there. No worries. Alright, so, uh, so power back. We're a little beam. high too, yeah. so. Let's go power idle because we're at 1500, should be at 1000. Should go one notch or no? Because we're high. Uh, go. Uh, well, that's idle? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, one notch. We're in the white arc. I actually do a second notch early. Pressure 627, traffic, Cherokee, left base, land in parallel. Made contact, red stripe 627. Cherokee 66 Mike, traffic, Phenom, right base for the parallel. Looking for traffic, 63 Mike. Jive is high, 63 Mike. I don't see it. Right there. So let's fly a rectangular pattern, right? There we go. Now transfer system 9 or 5 2 0 0 0 base for 2 5. Cessna uh, 2 0 Delta, just verify you are in a downwind right now for runway 18 right. On downwind for 18 right, 2 0 Delta. Traffic in sight, red stripe 627. There we go, so we're going to hit a little bit more right ailerons. This will be to a full stop, okay? Yep. Information Yankee, current out to mirror 29 or 9 or 1. So slow us down, going a little bit fast. Don't pull the power because we're low, all right? Okay. There you go. I would trim it because it feels like we got to pull a lot. So reduce the throttle because we're still going a little bit fast and we're a little bit high. Hey, I bet if you cut it idle now, we're still good. There you go. So keep us on that center line. There you go. Number two zero. That's how you going to do pattern work. No, I'm ready to go and uh, head back to Concord. 2-0 Delta. 2-0 Delta, left turn out approved. Left turn out approved. 2-0 Delta, someone ain't right. There you go. And you drop the flaps. Sure. Fresh right 627, turn left on hotel, contact ground point seven. There you go. Left on hotel, over ground, red stripe 627. Not bad. Take 66 mic, contact ground point seven. Contact ground on point seven six three mic. Now he's calling a six six mic. There you go. Then we'll turn. Don't do not do oh, not yeah. contact now. You get a lot of trouble for that. <clears throat> Napa, good morning. Nine Charlie Golf on the visual uh, right down one. All right, not bad. Nine no, no, Charlie Golf, Napa Tower. Good morning, verify you have information. Yankee runway one eight right, clear to land. Yeah, don't get in the habit of uh, rolling too far, Check too. Down right. Traffic, 1, 2 o'clock, 1 mile eastbound, out to NK 3,400, type on there. Runway, we got radio to ground. Flaps are up. Car P is off. Pedo heat's off. Fuel pump. Leave the light on. Leave that shit on, because we're about to be right up there again. Okay. Just lead it out a little bit. Then you tell ground, taxi back to uh, 1, 8 left, if you want to use the short one, or 1, 8 right, if you want the big one. What do you uh, think? I don't know, what do you think? That matters. Let's use 1 8 right, because we're still kind of learning how to okay. land, right? Are we going to do touch and goes now? Here? Yeah, we will. Okay. Fucking idiots texting me. I'm like, get the fuck off the phone. Napa ground, Cherokee 2863 Mike. 
Uh, we're on Charlie, right? Off of 18 right. left. On Charlie, off of 18 left. To ground. To uh, 1 8 right. 8 right for takeoff. Cherokee 2863 Mike, runway 18 right. Taxi via Delta, Charlie, Alpha, Kilo. Delta, Charlie, Alpha, Kilo, to 18 right, 63 Mike. Alright, this will be good practice for me too. So I'm assuming this is Delta. I don't see any. We're on signs. Delta, yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh, that makes it so easy with the fucking plane on there. Yeah. That's cheating. <laughs> Yeah, on the next go, we're going to really focus on airspeed and uh, altitude, okay? Okay. Alright, so we had Delta to Charlie, so we see the sign. Yep. Did make a left? Because he said then Kilo or Alpha. Yeah, okay. But it's fun to fly the little jet suite phenom. The other dudes at Concord let me go check out the uh, ERJ. They're like, oh, you want to sit up front? I was like, sure. Do you get to fly in it? No. They're all very nice. What's your overall goal with your career? Just make good amount of money and get in some heavy metal at some point and then uh, I don't really give a fuck. Are you just logging hours now doing this? Pretty much. Yeah. Like I'm trying to get in like heavy metal as soon as possible. Heavy metal meaning a big plane? Like a big plane or yeah. a jet really like even the little one like the Phenom over there but it's still you know a jet right? Yeah yeah. So once I get to the school and I get the uh, instrument instructor and multi-engine instructor I'm just going to nag them to go in the jet as soon as possible and yeah. then if they don't let me do it after a year, I'm just like, well, I'm fucking out of here. Because I'll have more than enough for the airlines at that oh, yeah. point. But we'll see. Pretty cool to still instruct out of Cocker to shit. We'll see what happens, though. Did you ultimately want to continue to live back up here? Probably. We'll see. I'm tired of it for now, but yeah. things might change. So here's right. Alpha. So... So it looks like Alpha's going yeah. that way. There's no sign on Alpha that I can see. And I think Kilo's not marked. No, uh, Kilo's at the end. It's kind of a weird airport. There's no markings anywhere. Yeah, right. So it's important to review that diagram before we get here, because otherwise you're asking for a progressive taxi on easy shit. That's one of the other flight schools I applied at, but their writing division. Those planes look like shit. Yeah. Is that theirs? Oh. Ground, good morning. Yeah. Uh, call stream uh, 9 Charlie Golf off at the uh, hotel for the Napa Jets. Call stream 9 and Charlie Golf, Napa Ground. Good morning. Taxi to the ramp via hotel, Charlie. To the ramp via hotel, Charlie, 9 Charlie Golf. I ask. Uh, Holy shit, is that a kilo signed up there? Looks like over it. there. I mean, they have the arrows everywhere, but they don't have the. Uh, Just covered in weeds. Oh, there is one. They're not very. They're not very uh, bright either. They're all faded. You think Napa would be like hip daddy now? Yeah, they got uh, a lot of celebrities and shit that come through here. They had Kanye West through here like two months ago. It'd be cool to go spit in his face. Yeah, read my mind.
said we do not need run up because we. Uh, I like to just check the mags. I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the issue. What's the issue? There we go. Yeah, you gotta like really slam it to make sure it's gonna. You could just do the run up over. They don't actually have to go in the run up area. Okay. It's just a two second check, right? Oh, because we're just doing mags? Yeah, just mags. Because you know the plane's good, right? Yeah. We did everything. Just make sure rich, check the mags. We'll get back at it. Are, are we doing the 2000? Yeah. Check the mags? Okay. Alright, cool. Can you tell them we're ready to go? We'll be staying in the pattern. Switch to the tower. Tower Cherokee 2863 Mike at 18 right, staying in the pattern. Check, check. Conquer Tower, Piper 2863 Mike at 18 right, requesting to stay in the pattern. We said conquered, I think. Did I? Yeah. Cherokee 2863 Mike, this is Napa Tower. Make right close traffic. Use cost for more right side of the runway near 2,000 foot markers. Runway 18 right, clear for takeoff. Napa Tower 18 right, clear for takeoff, right close traffic. 63 Mike. What did he say about the 2,000 foot marker? I told him I wasn't listening. No, what did he say about the 2,000 foot marker, though? I didn't hear it. Oh. I understand what you said. Oh, maybe duster? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I wonder how many times we'll be doing that fucking <laughs> next month. I probably said conquered too. They hear it quite a bit. And we have us. Alright, let's rock and roll. Airspeed's alive. Very good. There you go. Yeah, when you start to feel that like rocking bit, you can start to pull back slowly. Tower mobile one is at uh, one eight left and echo would like to proceed on to one eight right. Mobile one tower cross runway one eight left uh, echo and where did you want to go on one eight right? I'll be at about the uh, 2500 foot marker for just a few minutes. Mobile 1, proceed on runway 18 right. We're going to turn right to 700 again? Yep. Cross 18 left on a 18 right for Mobile 1. Cherokee 63 Mike, make left close traffic, runway 18 left. Close traffic, 18 left, 63 Mike.
restaurant good here? You know, I never actually ate at this one. Petaluma's got a good one. Auburn's got a good one. Half Moon Bay has a bunch. Really a bunch, huh? Oh, hell yeah. Like, on the airport? No, uh, at Half Moon Bay, you uh, park the plane, and then you just walk out the gate, and then you're at downtown. Oh, wow. Kind of a bitch to get there sometimes, because it's always overcast. All right, very good. Thousand feet. Cherokee six three Mike, wind variable five, Napa two two nine 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 zero runway one eight left, clear, touch and go. One eight left, clear, touch and go. Six three Mike. Bravo Alpha and Aptar, make left traffic runway 24, uh, the 18 right is occupied this time with uh, personnel and equipment. The winds are 230 at 6, Napa Tim at 29990. Left traffic 243 Bravo Alpha. Power's a little low, alright, so I bring it back up to 15 and we're going to be oh, too yeah. low overall. Because it's uh, returning based off our direction to the runway, but at the same time, uh, good eyeball estimate is about 800 feet AGL for turning base and about 500 feet for turning final. Those are just rough estimates. We can turn base about now. Long final's clear. North final's clear. Back a little bit to get us to 85. Make sure we're perpendicular to the runway. There you go. Roll out. Have a nice rectangular shape. 20 degrees of flaps. Very nice. Power's a little low again, but might work. Don't cut the corner. I want to continue. Go. Now, rectangular shape's important. Once you cut the final short, we have less time to fix any shit that's fucked up. There you go. Now you can turn final. Nice and gentle. Challenger 3, Bravo Alpha. Winds Third notch of flaps. I like to put them in the turn. 3 zero at 7 now. There you go. So now, let's just slowly make the adjustment. So we're going a little bit fast. We want to pull back just a little bit. On the On the yoke. Because our pitch controls our power. Airspeed. airspeed. Reduce the power a little bit because we're getting high. So high, man. Want to trim it out just a little bit. You don't want to actually be fighting the yoke. There you go. So I reduce the power a little bit more. Go idle, actually. I think we got this. There you go. So we keep our nose on the numbers. There you go. There you go. Now we're just going to flare. Eyes are at the end of the runway. We're just doing whatever we gotta do to keep it on the runway. There you go, now here's the point where we slowly pull back. There you go. Flaps are down, right rudder. A little bit more right rudder. Feel me coming in with just like a little bit on the foot. There you go. But yeah, do you feel like once we like got out of the uh, little, uh, like doing this, it reaches that point where it kind of stops the oscillation, and then you just kind of keep pulling back and it'll settle down like that, all right? Sound good? Uh-huh. Any questions? No. Nope. Right, still yeah. a little, that little runway is still like a little sketchy for me. Ah, uh, don't worry, dude. I'll, <laughs> I know, I'll you're here. <laughs> If you're ever worried about the runway and you're, because there's kind of like a point of like no return, yeah. right? So you're, uh, you're better to Indiana Jones it to like the very last like two feet of the runway than you are to like pull up early because you might get off the ground right. and get in a ground effect, but probably not. So if you just keep it on the ground till the end, Indiana That's Jones your way up the top. Seven three two Sierra Mike. Really good. Centurion seven three two Sierra Mike Napter. So let's try and uh, adjust our power settings a little bit better there. Do you see how we were like a little bit behind? 
and uh, we were adjusting. We were like trying to adjust our altitude, like way later than we should have been. Little things like even having your RPM off by like 100 or 200, uh, we'll make lift enough to screw you. For one eight left. I'd like the right if it's available. And two zero mic on Not available, huh, boy? Equipment on the runway. Understand. Better tell them, hopefully you practice your short fields. All right. Chair and two zero mic. Uh, traffic about your 11 to 12 o'clock eastbound now to in case 3,600, about a mile and a half uh, east of Mare Island now. It looks like they're turning uh, your direction. This here mic has electronics only. Realize and, I sent uh, three students solo today. Before 10 a.m. Wow. They would use the 1 8 runway. Cherokee 6 3 Mike, runway 1 8 left, clear, touch and go. 1 8 left, clear, touch and go, 6 3 Mike. Kind of weird he doesn't clear us for the option. And mobile 1 is clear of 1 8 right. Alright, 1000 feet, keep us in the pattern. 2000 feet, or 2000 uh, RPM should be our power Cross setting. runway 1 8 right at hotel, contact ground point 7 on the other side. Right at the end, uh, cross 20 right, tank on ground, uh, 3 Bravo. Up suit. What did you say you spent 65000 bucks on a car or a bike? A uh, truck. truck. Well, I didn't go. spend it yet. It's going to happen today, probably. Very nice. All right, being the numbers, powder 15. There you go. We're in the white arc. We're at 14, so let's bump it up to 15. There you go. Pitching for 85. Looking over our shoulder. All right, that's about base. 20 degrees of flaps now, pitch yeah. for 75, nice and slow, all right, long finals clear, short finals clear, I switch tanks in six minutes. Tower 732, sir, I might see your wins. Turns to Sierra Mike, wins 180 at 8, Napa Timber 29090. Roger, thank you. Perfect, right down there on way. Ages are in the green, under carriage channel welded, mixture rich, props full, seatbelts on. Check, check. Does that Bowsy get us too, or is that? Nah, that's that's different. Cause see, that's going for that runway. Yeah. Well, I figured I just didn't. That's on. a that's a Pappy too. That's I'll not Bowsy. Yeah, so we kind of want to just fly level. A little bit more power, more power. There you go. Cause we kind of we're too low, so we kind of gotta hold it. <laughs> I want to go much more than this. We want to keep that nose on those numbers. Now slowly reduce. Reduce, 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 idle. There you go. Now we're just gonna all the way idle, right? Yep, hold. Pull, 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 pull. There you go, like that. Very nice. Flaps. Oops. Yeah, do not Sorry. go Pops full power with that, because if you drop those flaps, you're gonna get scared. Small ass runway. All right, not bad. Let's uh, let's do one more. We'll do the steep turns. We'll fuck off back to Concord. All right. That was good. Did you?
you feel like how at the very end you kind of lock it and you just do that little bit more of a pullback to get that nose yeah. to stay there? You gotta go slow. If you go too fast, you're gonna flare up again. That was good. I feel like we're getting a little bit uh, smoother on everyone. That runway length make you nervous? <laughs> a little bit. Well, it's also arc, so you can't really see past a certain point there either. You, go. you get a little adrenaline rush too. I'm out a little faster than this. There you go. Husky 3, Hotel Yankee, Freak Exchange approved. Freak Exchange approved, Husky 3, Hotel Yankee, good day. 2 Sierra Mike, left, phase 1 8 left. Centurion 2 Sierra Mike, runway 1 8 left, clear to land. Clear to land 1 8 left, 2 Sierra Mike. Cherokee 63 Mike, follow a uh, Centurion on a uh, quarter mile final. Probably 1 8 left, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 1 8 left, 63 Mike. Looking for him. On the go, we'd like a uh, straight out departure, please, 63 Mike. Cherokee 63 Mike on the go, straight out departure, proof. Straight out proof, 63 Mike. And is that our traffic landing right now? Affirmative. Traffic is side, no fact, 63 Mike. I don't even know why he mentioned that. Yeah, it's like that far out. <laughs> it's like, no, I do. I don't think we'll be on his butt. Unless something goes drastically wrong, and then we'd know about it anyways. So. Yeah, right. All right. Off heading. Since you're in 2-0, Mike, left to the end contact, go. That's 2-0, Mike. Got more uh, lessons today? Fuck. I got another one. I got a student who wants to do ground. I think I'm gonna have to tell him to fuck off. And then I got a night flight too. That's I'm, right. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I'm fucking booked the fuck up. Ever since I dropped the ground school, though, I was like, fuck. I'll make more money just doing this shit. I probably shouldn't even leave at this point. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, California for a while. We got the 15. Dude, it's fucking, uh, you're all worried about the concealed carry. You don't even need to hide your shit out there. Yeah. But you know yeah. what? I like uh, surprising people. I don't, uh... You don't need... Oh, you, you could hide it if you want. Well, they yeah. don't give a fuck. They're like, you don't have to wear a helmet on a motorcycle. I was like, dude, I'm about to be the fucking Terminator. Just get yoked, <laughs> drive my motorcycle, shoot my gun. Who <laughs> gives a fuck? No helmet. <laughs> all right, long final's clear, short final's clear. Fucking idiot though, I did that motorcycle safety course shit, and then they're like, oh, you don't even need to do the practical test. I was like, oh, all right, then I never even uh, took it. So I was like, god damn it. <laughs> One more, I believe. Wreck this one. Alright, so now we know we're going a little bit low, right? We want about 500 on final, so I would just bump it up just a notch. Should be good. There you go. Yeah, because you can kind of just level yourself off, full flaps. You just kind of level yourself off till you're back on the glide slope, then reduce the power back to where it should be. Here's our reminder to switch the tanks. Do that uh, Do after, after we depart. Down. Yeah, straight level flight. Right now? Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. That's just oh, our focus. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we wanna, here's what we can do, check this out, we're a little low and we're a little fast, so we get up like this, reduce the power to 15. There you go, now we're back on the money, right? Okay. There you go. 
go. Alright, idle now. Fucking birds, man. There you go. Get ready. Just hold us here and we're gonna sink. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah, pull back a little more. There you go. Alright, pull dog, go. Not bad, not bad. And we can blast them. Yeah, so I try and teach everyone how to land smoothly because, uh, do you like jerk it back like that, right? Oh shit. Oh, yeah. We fucking, uh, we go up a little bit, but then you get a second try if you have enough runway. You know, if you know how to finesse it into smoothly touching down, then you're good. Yeah. I feel like that was an improvement. How'd you feel about it? Yeah. A little different runway too to about. Yeah, exactly. So you can uh, just climb up to uh, 1500. We're gonna head to the center of the water over there. San Francisco, San Francisco Bay? Let's go up to 2000. <laughs> Alright. This is uh, San Pablo Bay. Which bridge is that? That bridge? Ah, uh, Maron. That tall one? That one right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a 37 bridge, right? Yeah, I think Mare Island's the one past. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. I always have to take that shit when I worked at Marine World, because that's where the warehouse would be. Oh, yeah. Fucking just go over there and sleep in Mare Island, come back in a few hours. It has to be weird leaving here, man. I just got a little, like, stories for all this shit, you know, where everything is, and fucking, you can tell yeah. what the tail numbers are, like, up and down Northern California. You're gonna be all screwed up. Fucking middle of nowhere, man. You still have my gun, right? There you go. What kind of gun you got? I don't got shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get down there and fucking load up like I'm in the Matrix. Might as well. Bring me back an auto. Yeah, there you go. Alright, have you done steep turns yet? Uh, yeah, we did it last time. Alright, so let's just talk about it real quick. It's super easy. All you do is uh, roll in slowly, 30 degree mark, which is that line right there. You have three choices, add power, pull back, or uh, trim. And like I said, I don't say this is how you do it. I just say do whatever you feel like that day. Like the weather conditions change, the plane changes, whatever, you know. So whatever you feel like works, go for it. Usually I just pull back, maybe a little trim, depending on the scenario. If we start to lose a lot of altitude, don't, uh, remember, it's pitch, power, and trim. So if you just pull the power back, we're going to oh, be doing right. like 90. All right, I have the controls? You have the controls. So I'm going to do one, and then uh, you're going to have the controls. So let's do Mount Tam. So that should be about 230. You want to have your outside reference. Like a power setting Is that about. Mount Tam down? Yeah. I'm all sad. I'm not going to have my references anymore. All right, there we go. That's close enough. Oh shit, actually, hold on, let's wait a minute, because we don't have DME, so I'm not sure if we're still in Napa's airspace. Want me to check on the iPad? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think once we get past, like, this part, we're out, but let's see. Uh, moment, please. Donde? We are out. Blue circle, right? Yep. Alright, so get yourself nice and trimmed. I don't see us in anywhere else. Now, once we're over the water, we're good. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the left. Left is clear. 
Put your hands in the yoke, just feel what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to roll. Maneuver starts. Looking outside, back inside. There's our bank, pull back just a little bit. Keep going, we want to be in between those two lines because we want 45 degrees. Now, you just look at the outside and make sure the horizon isn't sliding either direction. Looks pretty good, I'm just pulling. Yep, good catch actually. There we go, so now I got to pull. There it is, you feel the G-force coming in. Coming around, coming around, take it out, take it out. The adjustments as we need it. 20 degrees early, so about there. Roll us out. And now you don't want to bust the altitude. A lot of people will uh, just let themselves fuck it up. Now right's clear, we're going to go to the right. There we go. Being a bad example, I should keep my hand on the throttle, but there you go. Now we just kind of lock it in there. I notice I kind of put in a little bit opposite control once I'm locked in. Outside, looks good. Pull, pull, pull. Eyes are outside. Check the old big titties, good. <laughs> back inside, or back outside, I mean. Oops, see, too much bank. Pull it out a little bit. Coming around. Coming around. About 20, roll out there. We're going to keep herself on the heading. And force it into place, because you don't want to bust at the last minute, so. All right, there you go. You have the controls? Okay, I have the controls. So you see how uh, during the whole maneuver I did it very slowly. Not Top Gun. Right. All right, so... We're, we're going to go to the left first. Go to the left first. Clear, clear left. Over to 45. There we go, so... There's our 30. So we're starting to drop just a little bit, right? So we want to just continue. And pull. And then from here... You want to just horizon. see where your horizon hits the dash. So we want 45, about right there. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. So now I'm seeing it hit right there. See how that angle changed just a little bit? Yeah. We lost a little bit of bank, a little bit more. Just force it into oh, place. because we're doing altitude now, or uh, pulling back to get the bank. Down. Yeah, to uh, yeah. balance it. So if you're, too, if you're losing altitude and you're too steep, take some of the bank out raw now. About 20 degrees, there you go. We're going to hold it for a sec to show that we're in control. Uh, now to the right, let's go. Right, clear. CH-37, nap tower, enter our left base, runway 2442, mile left base. There you go, so consistently keep us going in. There we go. We're starting to gain a little altitude, so we put the bank in where it needs to be. It'll cause us to lose a little bit. Now we pull. We're locked in. Up still a little bit down, so let's pull back. A little bit more. There you go. A little bit more bank, and then hold right there. You'll see we're starting to ascend a little bit, so we'll just pull back before we bust our altitude. Pull, 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 pull. There we go, roll out. Now, there you go. Very nice. Do one more to the left, one more to the right, and then we'll head back to Concord. All right. Careful, don't let yourself get into a descent. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because uh, right now you have a little bit of a habit of letting that bank angle change too much. Well, because once the bank's in there, you can kind of just adjust with the pitch to okay. hold it where it needs to be. Hold a little too hard. Like that. Very nice, that'd be acceptable for a check ride. Roll out. And we're out. Uh, go too late. A little too late. So get yourself stabilized back on our heading. We got Mount Tam outside again. All right, to the right, go. Right is clear. So really focus on keeping that bank increasing as we're going in. There you go. Decision point there. Pulling. There you go. Now this is the bank angle you want. So we could just lock our yoke right here. Say what, I'll hold it right there. Fix the rest so. with pull. There you go. Map tower, CHP 372, mile, left base, 24. CHP 372, clear to land. 24, clear to land. A little bit of back pressure, just a tiny bit. You ready to roll out when I say? Now, roll out. There you go, 20 degrees of your bank. Perfect. Yay. Very nice. That was good. That was a major improvement. Right on altitude. All right, cool. Let's head on back. I'm hungry as fuck. Should I eat it now for taking a lunch break? Yeah, there you go.
Tell us to switch frequencies, those fuckers. Test two Romeo Lima, turn base. Have bet, test I'll follow two Romeo Lima. 119.7. You are listening to 119.7. Now shit, I'm at 1 Romeo Tango. Oh, I'm sorry, 121.7. 121.9. There you go. Get it eventually. Turn out 1 Romeo Tango, left turn approved. And ATIS is 124.8. 2 Romeo Lima, Romeo 32 right, clear to land. Runway 32 right, clear for land, Cessna Alpha 2, Romeo Lima. Test 436, number 2, follow Cessna on right base, runway 32 right, clear for the option. Runway 32 right, clear for option, follow the Cessna on 9436. Alright, 3 for 3, all the students came back alive, that's good. You're doing something right with your life. Affirmative, you can turn left on Juliet, and then once you're clear, of uh, one niner right on Julia you can contact ground on one two one point niner. Yeah, so if you ever hear him say contact ground point seven, what does that mean? One two one point seven. Very good, yeah. So it's always like one two one for ground. Alright, maintain two thousand, get the ATIS, copy it down. I can take the controls if you want. Let's see if I can do it. Three contact Hayward Tower one two zero point two radar system terminated and keep the code. Our DME is not monitored and notices two airmen. The transient ramp is closed. Taxiway Bravo between runway one on the right and taxiway Mike is closed. Personnel and equipment operating numerous positions on Concord Airfield. Advise on initial contact. You have November. Concord Tower information November 1753 Zulu observation. Wind 320 at 11, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 28, 2.14, altimeter 2989er. Visual approach runway 32 right is in use, landing runway 32s. Road advisories for Concord Airfield are in effect. As is weather information for. What's the winds from? 10 9. Huh? Say it again. What are the winds from? Three two zero at one one, so right down the runway. Very nice. That's two Romeo Lima, turn left on one on a right, cross three two left, and contact ground. Now would be a good time to call in when they're clear. Ah, uh, oh wait, I'd say over Venetia. One on right, cross three two left, contact ground. Two Romeo Lima. All right, cool. You guys see some uh, good shit. Other airport. Um, got to see steep turns. Low flight's a massive improvement. For now, be one Romeo Tango, frequency change approved. Good day. One Romeo Tango, thanks for talking a bit. Do you have any questions about anything? No, I think, uh... 436 will also be full. Oh, is it GoPro on this time? Yeah. Okay. 436, Roger, thank you. And it's not full this time either, so we're doing a good job. Very nice. Yeah, send me the video if, uh... Yeah. You got those other ones. I haven't had time to... I actually literally, like, late last night took, uh video off the card from the last one and then I was like damn it well I saw that it was full when we finished last time but got that off last night so I have to put that together and I'll do this one at the same time. Nice. I've dispatched so tomorrow so that's good, that, good time uh, to do that. <laughs> what does that mean? I work in the dispatch center so I take all the 911s and uh, radio traffic non-emergency calls okay. much everything that comes in so. I thought you did like detective or something. I was a detective for four years but actually one year ago yesterday uh, I uh, came out of the bureau and I'm a street supervisor I'm a corporal now. So it's like a junior sergeant so they're not there I'm in charge of the shift and then uh, otherwise I'm a field training officer as well so I haven't had a trainee yet, but I'm going to in the near future. Oh, nice. And, uh, what else? But yeah, I, I kind of have done almost everything there. <laughs> nice. A jack of all trades, master of none. That TOS where the guy in training day was, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, smoke this. Day one. <laughs> We're not going to be cool. <laughs> you have to get wet. <laughs> Watch that again. Before you load up on all your guns. Yeah, right. And wherever Benicia? Oh, oh. close enough. Ish. Yep. We're on one and one nine one nine point seven, check, and check, it's Concord Tower. 
Conquer Tower, Cherokee 2863 Mike over Benicia with November. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Conquer Tower, make left traffic runway 32 left report downwind. What uh, do you left on that one? Copy, 32 left on the downwind 63 Mike. What was the first part you said again? I forgot already. I need to eat, I can't think. I don't know, I'm the same way. Nah, I don't even joke about that. I get fucking uh, loopy. I have like a protein shake and I'll be good for two hours and exactly at the two hour mark, I would feel like shit. Romeo Golf inbound from the north east with information in November. I missed the call sign from the aircraft. Just called in from the northeast. Say again, please. Yes, uh, Saratoga 529er Romeo Golf. Saratoga 529er Romeo Golf, Cock Tower. Enter on right base, runway 32 right, and ident. And our right base uh, for 32 right, uh, and ident, I Romeo Golf. I slipped altitude, but should we be descending anyways to pattern? Yeah, uh, sure. yeah. Kilo, I we have a little hills we, to go uh, over, but we forgot to switch tanks too, so let's do that. Good point. We're on right. Sure, off, so we're off, your back on, we're good. Keep your speed up to the field. Traffic is off your left wing about four miles off the Going line. Going to right the base, middle of the airport. A Cherokee. Okay, keep speed up, uh, traffic behind me, and uh, I'll look for him, man, Romeo. This is 436, runway 32, right, clear to land. Sounds like he's in a fucking Romeo open car. 9436. Okay, so... And Cherokee 5 Tequila, your eyes, and also observe traffic off your right wing left. about three and a half miles. Where's Where's so we so can right descend a little bit faster than this, because we want to be at traffic pattern before will be in front of you on right we're at the traffic. Or before we're in the traffic uh, pattern. No, I just go idle right, right now and get us down. I think we'll clear these hills, no problem. Thank you. Sir, Tokyo 5 Tequila, Romeo Golf has the traffic. Nine Romeo Golf. From Nana Romeo Golf, Aim you are the, number uh, center two for runway yeah, 32 right. right following a Cessna on right base. Runway 32 right. Yeah. Cleared yeah. Nah, I just give him the call now oh, because it's before right. we even get in there, right? Base. Cherokee 63 Mike yep. in sight. Traffic a Cessna and a, actually traffic will be a Saratoga followed by a Cherokee right base for the parallel runway. You're number one for 32 left. Clear to land. That for us? Yep, number one, 32 left. Clear to land. Number one, 32 left. Clear to land. 63 Mike. Alright. And then we are looking at that runway right there, correct? Yep, we're the All little right. one. Yep. Yeah. Wanna double check. Can you parallel it now? Yep. A little low though, right? Wanna be a thousand feet. Oh yeah. Turkey Pass is killed at Saratoga. Uh, they got you in sight there at your three moving two o'clock and about two miles, 1,500 indicated. Or should we pass on empty now? Got it. The spacing should be using the green under carriage down, make sure it's possible. Uh, we'll Saratoga 9 and Romeo Golf, you're number one now. Number one to, for 3 2 right, 9 Romeo Golf. There you go, now we get to our base. Traffic will be a Cherokee base. left base for the parallel. Okay, looking. Uh, Talking about us. Looking okay, for the guy. Put in the right. 20 degrees of flaps now. Very nice. It says 436, turn left on one on our left. And keep your speed up, cross 32 left approach, contact ground. Left one on our left, cross 32 left, keep the speed up, contact ground. 436. Thank you. Cherokee 56 Kilo, you are number two. Following the Saratoga, it's 12 o'clock at a mile. On right base, runway 32 right. Clear to land. Uh, 32 right, number two. Clear to land. I still have Saratoga in sight. Don't cut the corner, you're cutting the corner again. Damn it. So deceiving. I'll get used to it. Yeah, the little runways cause you to come in lower too, because you think you're higher. Got some poles right here. We want to make sure we're gonna clear. Not crash into my hangar. All right. We're at fifteen hundred. We're aiming for the numbers. Yes. Yep. There you go. So let's make smaller. 
corrects just a little bit. Okay. Pitch back. There you go. There you go. Fly us in numbers. No. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Idle. Well, dude. There you go. A little bit more. Thought you had it. You stopped the pull, right? Oh, is that what happened? So if I would have kept pulling? Yeah, you were pulling, and then you kind of let go a little bit. Okay. Check 6-3 mic, left at your discretion, and contact ground. Good day. 6-3 mic, contact ground. Good day. Not bad, though. Uh. Very nice. Yeah, active. Hit up. Ground and monitor that. One two one point nine. Your runway. We got radio on ground. We got flaps to the up. We got carb heat to the off. Fuel heat off. Fuel pump off. That landing light. Yeah, and you keep the landing light on during taxi, right? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Sure, we are going to lean up a little bit. Trim for takeoff. And we put the transponder on standby. Alright, get our taxi. Concord Ground Cherokee 2863 Mike on hotel, clear of 32 left to the east ramp hangars. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Concord Ground Taxi East Ramp via Juliet, cross runway one on the right and one on the left. Taxi V and Juliet crossing 19 right, 19 left, 63 Mike. This Juliet? Yeah, yeah Juliet. Ground sir, took a 529 Romeo call at Echo. Saratoga. Uh, taxi to Conquer Jet. So if you didn't know, we're going to take the Conquer Jet via Echo. Taxi Conquer Jet via Echo 9 Romeo. Okay, go ahead. If you didn't know where any of the runway or the taxiways were, what could you do? Okay, ask for progressive taxi. That's a taxi, but yeah. Or check my iPad? Check your iPad. <laughs> yeah, everyone relies on iPads too much, so... Yeah. No, I know, but as a alternative, if it's working, and I have... Uh, no yeah, I was, a, I was a dumb dumb. I was trying to save money, and I was like, oh, I'll just get the... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't need the uh, cellular plan shit. And then I got it, and I was like, oh, it doesn't have GPS. Oh, no. God damn it. You want to buy mine? Nah. I think they're actually about to give me a free one at uh, the new place. Yeah, that'd be nice. But it's like Thursday, so you gotta give it back. I was like, so how much tracking software is in this shit? About to right. wipe it, like first thing. <laughs> Just turn off your, uh, your turn on your, you know, your navigation kill your, uh, your airplane mode. Now, well, not airplane mode, but you can turn on uh, so your GPS is off. Turn off your navigation. Just wipe uh, it and be like, oh, you gave it to me like that. Echo Juliet, taxi east. Cherokee 9556 Kilo, Grand Taxi East Ramp via Juliet, cross runway yeah. one on the right and one on the left. Uh, East Ramp via Juliet, crossing 32 left, 3 to right, 32 left. Shark after Oscars now clear in a Concord, wind 34010, altimeter 2988. Okay, can't believe that dude hit that sign today. Too cool to wave, little kids? Fuck yeah, you. Little fuckers. Fuck you, kids. Hope you get sand in your vagina. <laughs> Good thing I have these videos on, on, uh... Yeah, there you go. What do you call it, on, uh... 
Not public or whatever, it's just unlisted. Yeah, thank you. I was going to say, <laughs> anybody wants to say, who the fuck are these two? Half the shit I'm saying. I'm like, oh, I wish I was a Terminator. <laughs> fucking, I'm not wearing a fucking I'm going to go down to Arizona and destroy shit. I can't wait shit. to get guns. <laughs> More the merrier. All the airport operations people have been really nice that I've met so far. Yeah, they're usually pretty good. Okay, I mean, I they're chilling all day anyway. So yeah, yeah, fucking doing zero, shit. Two, nine, Did I ever tell you the story of the first night I was here at the hangar? No. I proned out some dude at gunpoint that hopped the fence. You really? Yeah. So the first night that I that I had my tie down, the day that I brought it back, I put the cover on wrong first, but it was really hot that day. I was really tired, and I'm like, fuck it, we're leaving. We'll come back later and do the rest of shit, right? So we, uh, we uh, leave. I can't remember. I think I had search and rescue. So we leave, and we come back. Later in the uh, evening, around 10, 10.30, and uh, there's, uh, Christy goes, do planes get broken into? Are we, you know, I'm around the plane setting shit up. My dog, Loki, my little cattle dog's here. And I said, no, not, I don't think too often. I said, I know it has happened, but it's not like a carburg problem here, you know? Uh, I said, but speaking of that, look over there. There's Tweaker Joe over looking at all the new cars there with his backpack on. Yeah, right. So we, uh, I, um... I was going to call on him anyways, just because he's chilling there. I'll get back to that in a sec. Hold on one sec.